Hi everyone, for today's video, we're going to make this 3D cake. And this is from Scrap Diva Designs, and I'll put the link to Erica's shop down below along with my discount code. And this makes such a cute 3D cake. This is using Prima's um, strawberry milkshake collection. So, so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I put it together. So I just cut some 100, 10 pound cardstock and I'll show you the dice first. So you get three circles here, which creates the top, medium and bottom layer. So the small circle, this is one and a half inches. And then this is two and three eighths. And then this is three and a half in size. And then you get a small, medium and large to create the sides of the cake. To get these three pieces and I just used the large and the small piece so I will show you how to create this cute cake all right so we'll do the small one first so you'll need two pieces okay and then you'll just need one of the small strips okay so what I do first is I use um, this curling tool that I've had from Sizzix. And this is great when you need to curl any of your die cuts. So just go ahead and curl. If you don't have this tool, no worries. You can use your bone folder. And then next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold in those score lines, which is the tab here. And then these small tabs right here. Okay, so I just fold those down. You can burnish it if you want, it's totally up to you, but I just push them down. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue this. So I'm gonna just use some hot glue. Okay, and then I'm just gonna create the circle. that. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push these tabs in. Just push it like so. And then I use uh, wet glue on the top. And that is uh, my favorite, which is the beacon glue. Okay. So I'm going to add it on these little tabs. So I just go, you know, in a circle, or I just do this. Just add it individually to each tab. Just making sure each tab has some glue. And then I'm gonna take one of the circles and then I'm gonna place it on top. And then I just hold it down. You'll see, you know, the sides coming out and I just push that in like so just hold it down as I'm pushing it in to make sure it's all within that circle just slowly just have to hold it down for a few seconds okay and I just remove the excess glue you want to make sure it's as close to the edge as possible okay and then I just turn it over and if you want you can take you know, maybe a, I'll just use this tool to push it down make sure it's nice and secured okay and then if you need to adjust it you can that's a good thing about using wet glue can adjust it and make sure it's closest to the edge as possible okay and then the next piece you're gonna put on top just fold those tabs in again push it down and we'll add white glue again 
So you can embellish this cake. You can create it for any holiday, any occasion. Such a cute cake and makes a really cute favor. And then just place this on top. And then push down and then just make sure you push the sides in as you're holding it down at the same time. You don't have to put too much pressure, just enough to hold it down to glue to the tabs. And just do that to make sure get it on all the sides. Okay, and now we have our topper. Well, the top part of the cake. Okay, so there's the top part. Again, you can just adjust it as you go. Because again, you used wet glue, so it gives you a little time to move it around if you need to adjust. Okay, so there's that one. Now we're gonna make the second layer. So you need two of those. And then the second layer is just gonna uh, require just one of the large strips. Okay, so we're going to, again, curl that. And then we're pushing those tabs. Like so, and then we'll do the other side. Okay, and then I'm just gonna hot glue this. So some hot glue to the tab here. And then we'll form the circle. Okay. Kind of just adjust it so it's not so straight. All right. And then I push these guys down and push it in. And then we'll add the wet glue on the top. Okay, so go ahead and add your wet glue. Okay, so we're going to place the first, first circle. And just hold it down. Just like this. So, and then again, as you're holding that down, just kind of push in those pieces, I mean the sides. It tends to peek out a little bit. Just hold it down. I just do that to make sure. Nice circle. Okay, and then I just turn it over. And again, you can get your tool to push it down. Just secure the tabs more. And then you can adjust it. You can see how it kind of shifts. Just adjust it like so. Okay, and then we'll push these tabs in. And add the wet glue. Okay, so add the wet glue on top. And I cover, um, the sides with some diamond dust. So I'm not too, too worried about it being so exact to the edge. But if you're not gonna put any like trim or diamond dust or glitter or anything like that on it, then try to get as close as you can. So 
for this part, you just have to, you know, spend a little extra time making sure it's within the circle. So just hold it down as you're pushing the sides in. Just do, add this to the top, so we'll glue the bottom. So we'll make sure it's within the center, like so. There we go, and then we'll make the last piece. And this is going to require the large and then the small strip. And I believe I had to trim a little bit of this. I think I had to remove three piece, three sides. So let me, so you're gonna cut out three of these from the small strip. So one, two, three, and just cut. Okay, and we'll do that. And we'll fold those tabs in. Okay, do the same to the other piece. these two pieces together. So let's get a hot glue. So I'm going to glue one, the end of the tab on the small piece to the large piece. So, okay. And then, let me just double check this is the right size. I'm sure it was three. Actually, it's five. So you're gonna cut five out. So you're actually gonna move five out. Okay, so let's actually hot glue that. Go all over myself here. Okay, and then we'll push. Just adjust that so it's not so stiff. Push these tabs in. Make sure the bottom one's flat too. So just make it easier to assemble. Okay, so let's add our wet glue. Let's add it to these tabs. Take one of the circles and then we'll push it down. Just hold it down for a few seconds. Turn it over and then I'll adjust it. 
So I'll just adjust it like this. Oops, I'm gonna bent. And just press on it as you're adjusting it. See, try to get as close to the edge as possible. Pull it down for a few seconds. It's best to use a uh, wet glue when doing this project. Okay, and then we're just gonna push these in. And again, I I cover mine with a diamond dust, so I'm not too worried about it being totally close to the edge. But you would like to have it, it's a nicer finish when it's really close to the edge. And then we're going to add the last layer. Or you could just do this, actually. You don't have to do the tabs. Just go around the circle. Way quicker. So this is another way you could do it. And then just place it on top. Yeah, it's probably faster to do it that way, actually. See? You learn as you go, right? Okay. So we'll just hold it down and we'll adjust it. Feels like actually making a cake. Okay, there you go. And then you're gonna glue this on top. And then you could decorate it however you want. Make it all nice and pretty. All right, so that's how you make the 3D cake. And again, I'll put the link to Erica's shop down below. And you can make this cute little 3D cake. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.